Today was supposed to be Selection Sunday, with the NCAA tournament set to kick off on Thursday. But March Madness, unfortunately, has turned to March Sadness for college basketball, and that extends to the D3 level, where the postseason run at Brockport was cut short. A.J. Feldman has more. The Brockport men's basketball team found out their season had come to a close right here in this gym at Thursday afternoon's practice. Their head coach gathered them around and told them that he had lied to them. There wouldn't be one team ending their season with a W. There would be 16. You know, what happened for our guys was a bit surreal. A um, lot of emotions, mixed emotions, obviously. A um, lot of tears in the gym. But a couple days of thinking about it and seeing what's going on around the country and around the world right now, we, we definitely think it was the right decision, and there's bigger things than basketball. This empty gym would have been packed yesterday to see the team in the Sweet 16, a place where the Golden Eagles had great success, going undefeated at home this year and winning their conference tournament and their first two NCAA games at home as well. But now they can only wonder... What if? You know, obviously, I think our guys will look back and look at this year and, and see the run we had, 19 wins in a row, um, you know, top 25 ranking, get to win our conference championship. So many positive things came out of this year. Um, I hope as time goes on, people, you know, our guys will look at and get a great satisfaction out of that. Dunn tells me he hadn't spent much time looking ahead to next year's team so far, but he's optimistic about his sophomore class and how they'll progress. But he'll have to replace four graduating seniors, three of which were in the top five in scoring for the team. In Brockport, A.J. Feldman, News 8.